다시 한번 공부하는 영화 노팅의 12번째 시간입니다. 먼저 복습 시간입니다. 잘 들리지 않는다면 이전 영상을 다시 찾아주세요. Just um, incidentally, uh, why are you wearing that? Combination of factors, really. Uh, no clean clothes. There never will be, you know, unless you actually clean your clothes. Right. Fisher circle. Yeah. And, and I was like rooting around in your things, and I found this, and I thought, cool. Kind of spacey. There's something wrong with the goggles, though. No, they were um, prescription. We. 오늘은 윌리엄과 스파이크가 안 나간 남긴 메시지에 대해 이야기하는 장면입니다. You want me to write down all your messages? You want me to write down all your messages? You want me to write down all your messages? You want me to write down all your messages? You want me to write down all your messages? You want me to write down all your messages? 윌리엄이 스파이크에게 메시지 온 거에 대해 묻자 스파이크는 두 개만 적어놨다고 답합니다. 너에게 온 메시지를 다 적어놓길 바라냐고 대묻는 스파이크입니다. Write down은 적어놓다, 기록하다라는 뜻입니다. Write down, write down. You want me to write down all your messages? Okay. Um, who are the ones that uh, you didn't write down from? Okay. Um, who are the ones that uh, you didn't write down from? Okay. Um, who are the ones that uh, you didn't write down from? Okay. Um, who are the ones that uh, you didn't write down from? Okay. Um, who are the ones that uh, you didn't write down from? Okay. Who are the ones that you didn't write down from? 답답한 윌리엄. 그럼 적어놓지 않은 메시지는 누구한테서 온 거냐고 묻습니다. No, gone completely. Oh no, there was one from your mum. She said, "Don't forget lunch and a leg zert in again." No, gone completely. Oh no, there was one from your mum. She said, "Don't forget lunch and a leg zert in again." No, gone completely. Oh no, there was one from your mum. She said, "Don't forget lunch and a leg zert in again." No, gone completely. Oh no, there was one from your mum. She said, "Don't forget lunch and a leg zert in again." No, gone completely. Oh no, there was one from your mum. She said, "Don't forget lunch and a leg zert in again." No, gone completely. Oh no, there was one from your mum. She said, "Don't forget lunch and her legs hurting again." Gone completely. 완전히 가버렸다. 즉, 전혀 생각이 나질 않는다는 표현입니다. 때론 정신적으로 미치거나 돌아버린 상태를 의미하기도 합니다. Gone completely. Gone completely. 그래도 윌리엄의 엄마에게서 온 메시지는 기억해냈네요. 엄마의 다리가 다시 아프다고 하십니다. 다치게 하다 아프다. Hurt. Hurt. Her legs hurting again. Absolutely no one else. Though if we're going for this obsessive writing down all the message thing, some American girl called Anna called a few days ago. Absolutely no one else. Though if we're going for this obsessive writing down all the message thing, some American girl called Anna called a few days ago. Absolutely no one else. Though if we're going for this obsessive writing down all the message thing, some American girl called Anna called a few days ago. Absolutely no one else. Though if we're going for this obsessive writing down all the message thing, some American girl called Anna called a few days ago. Absolutely no one else. Though if we're going for this obsessive writing down all the message thing, some American girl called Anna called a few days ago. Absolutely no one else. Though if we're going for this obsessive writing down all the messages thing, some American girl called Anna called a few days ago. William이 다른 사람은 없었냐고 묻자 전혀 없었다고 답하는 스파이크. 전혀 없긴 하지만 그래도 계속 이 메시지에 대해 집착하는 거면 며칠 전에 안나에게서 전화가 왔었다고 하네요. 여기서 도우는 앞선 문장에 대한 대조적인 내용을 끌어내고 있습니다. 업세시브는 강박적이거나 집착하는 상태를 나타냅니다. Though, though, obsessive, obsessive, though if we're going for this obsessive writing down all the messages thing, some American girl called Anna called a few days ago. Well, it was genuinely bizarre. She said, hi, it's Anna. Then she said, call me at the Ritz. And then gave herself a completely different name. Well, it was genuinely bizarre. She said, Hi, it's Anna. Then she said, Call me at the Ritz. And then gave herself a completely different name. Well, it was genuinely bizarre. She said, Hi, it's Anna. Then she said, Call me at the Ritz. And then gave herself a completely different name. Well, it was genuinely bizarre. She said, Hi, it's Anna. Then she said, Call me at the Ritz. And then gave herself a completely different name. 
Well, it was genuinely bizarre. She said, hi, it's Anna. Then she said, call me at the Ritz. And then gave herself a completely different name. Well, it was genuinely bizarre. She said, hi, it's Anna. Then she said, call me at the Ritz. And then gave herself a completely different name. 제뉴인리는 진심으로 또는 진짜로라는 뜻이며 비자르는 이상한 또는 특이한 이라는 뜻입니다. 진짜 이상했다. It was genuinely bizarre. It was genuinely bizarre. 안나는 윌리엄에게 자신이 머물고 있는 리츠 호텔로 전화를 달라고 했습니다. 그러고는 그녀 자신에게 완전히 다른 이름을 줬다. 즉 완전히 다른 이름을 사용했다는 표현입니다. 일종의 별명을 사용하는 안나입니다. Gave herself a completely different name. Gave herself a completely different name. Absolutely no idea. Remembering one name's hard enough. 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 Absolutely no idea. Remembering one name is hard enough. 그 다른 이름은 전혀 모르겠다는 스파이크. 이름 하나 외우기도 힘들다고 하네요. 전적으로 전혀. Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely no idea. 마무리 시간입니다. 처음부터 끝까지 이어서 잘 들어보세요. You want me to write down all your messages? You want me to write down all your messages? You want me to write down all your messages? Okay, um, who are the ones that, uh, you didn't write down from? Okay, um, who are the ones that, uh, you didn't write down from? Okay, um, who are the ones that, uh, you didn't write down from? No, gone completely. Oh no, there was one from your mum, she said, don't forget lunch, and her legs hurt in again. No, gone completely. Oh no, there was one from your mum, she said, don't forget lunch, and her legs hurt in again. No, gone completely. Oh no, there was one from your mum, she said, don't forget lunch, and her legs hurt in again. Absolutely no one else. Though, if we're going for this obsessive writing down all the message things, some American girl called Anna called a few days ago. Absolutely no one else. Though, if we're going for this obsessive writing down all the message things, some American girl called Anna called a few days ago. Absolutely no one else. Though, if we're going for this obsessive writing down all the message things, some American girl called Anna called a few days ago. Well, it was genuinely bizarre. She said, Hi, it's Anna. Then she said, call me at the Ritz. And then gave herself a completely different name. Well, it was genuinely bizarre. She said, hi, it's Anna. Then she said, call me at the Ritz. And then gave herself a completely different name. Well, it was genuinely bizarre. She said, hi, it's Anna. Then she said, call me at the Ritz. And then gave herself a completely different name. Absolutely no idea. Remembering one name's hard enough. Absolutely no idea. Remembering one name's hard enough. Absolutely no idea. Remembering one name's hard enough. 이상 시선과 함께하는 영어 공부였습니다. 도움이 되셨다면 좋아요와 구독 꼭 눌러주세요. 사랑합니다.